So previously we have cooked something like a beautiful woman in face ID like this. And it's kind of boring. I want to try with SDXL face ID using my male character's photos. Turn it like this. And this. Let's try it out. So face ID SDXL just released. And uh, last night I have checked it and it's already updated in the GitHub page. And I want to try it out with you guys. And uh, so there's a... IP adapter plus face. Now this is not the face ID. This is only for the IP adapter uh, traditional one. And the one below here, this table is showing the face ID for SDXL. Now they don't require a um, specific image encoder. So you can use any other uh, Click visions models. I guess that will be works for this one. And then just download it and then let's load it in our workflow. Now this workflow I have built it last videos um talking about the SD 1.5 face ID. So I have the face ID plus V2 and the face ID the normal uh, SD 1.5 face ID here. And I'm going to be one more groups that is going to test out the SDXL. And I set up another case sampler and also another checkpoint models that is going to be loading a SDXL models. And we are going to test it with the new IP adapter face ID for SDXL in this part. And I'm going to clone the text prompt as well. It's just a very simple text to image text prompt. So we got to connect to the case sampler with our Greg Dragonaut XL uh, models and this will be connect to the LoRa loader for this face ID and then we set it to the SDXL image dimension. Now remember in the LoRa loader we have to select the IP adapter face ID SDXL LoRa here that we just download from the GitHub page and let's set up to 0 0.7. And then in the clip visions, we, well, there's no specific uh, image encoder. So I just select the SDXL clip vision by default. And then the last one, we have to choose the IP adapter model for the face ID, which is this one, the IP adapter face ID underscore SDXL. Now it is to totally different things from the face, uh, from the IP adapter face, okay? So the last part we gotta do is connecting the positive and the negative prompts to the case sampler. And we are going to, just for safety in YouTube, we set up the NSFW in negative prompts. And um, let's see. Okay, then the last part is going to be set up the, yep, the base idea looks successfully running in the SDXL groups. And actually, I have not noticed that I have not turned on the face ID V2 options in the IP adapter face ID um, loader. So I don't think we need to turn it on for SDXL in this part. And then check the command prompts AR. Everything's run successfully without error. So let's check it out side by side with um so the middle one is uh, face ID V2, a uh, plus V2, and 
the left side is the the first version uh, of the face ID and the right side and obviously that is the SDXL versions all right so basically I I, I can see the the face the whole face overall it looks sharp compared with the um, face ID SD 1.5 and the plus v2 and uh, compared with the source image as you can see the 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 comparison is is better for this image okay I I, I can say it will be perform better overall with all image but for this settings and this image it does perform better more close to the source original source uh image the the character of that face and uh let's do some experiments and set like different parameters in the case samplers and also the the face id loader uh see different steps cfgs and maybe the the wages of uh, the face ID and also let's try out later I'll, I would try with uh, turn on the V2 and let's see if there's any errors so um, yeah let's click one more time and see And I, I think I don't need to run like six image in one batch. Uh, let's try two, two image on each batch. Okay, so this is the second tryout with this workflow. And I'm using 0 0.95 wages in phase ID. And overall, yeah, the, the SDXL phase ID is perform better with this image I mean the overall face recognition is doing better um, yeah it's more beautiful and uh, yeah let, let's try with uh, turn on the face ID v2 see if there's any error I want to see if this do affect for the face ID uh, SDXL model so Right now, I'm switching to the real Vis XL, and yeah, it looks better in the uh, SDXL with this kind of photos. Yeah, I see the the face ID SD15, the same parameters, everything the same settings, but it doesn't look the same uh, characters, and the uh, Face ID plus V2 is close, but not really uh, showing the original face. So yeah, it is really fun to experiment. So so I create this workflows just for uh like a test lab with with um you know different face ID versions and uh, test it out what kind of result that is and then I can execute and apply on other uh, workflows and um, yeah I, I will put this workflows on Patreon for my supporters and also um, put it on the open art so you guys can download it and uh, try it out because it's very interesting that as you can see, there's there's uh like everything I set the same parameters, and it looks way better. Like if you talk about face ID here, right? Like 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 you want to almost cloning the same face as the source image, and then the face ID V two the plus V two is half C half C, right? But then the SDXL is well doing very good on this kind of model style image and uh, 
Yeah, maybe I will try loading with a GPU this time. Um, trying on uh, different clip visions just for experiments purpose, maybe. I will try with the VITH. Yeah, this one. And see if there's other result coming out like, you know. But so far, I'm kind of like it for the SDXL. Like, although the SDXL came out and a little bit disappointed before, but then after all, like this IP adapter SDXL is, is like, uh, you know, performing better. And uh, yeah, look at this two image is is doing better. Is it's very close to the source image. You know the face, the the nose. Okay, let's try another parameters in uh, the LoRa loader. I'm gonna set up like zero point eight for this two SD one point five, and also set up in the SDXL face ID as well. Okay, let's bring it up to this image and let's bring up the SDXL new image from here. Wow, that looks good. Last uh, week, we when I tried the Face ID SD 1.5, I'm kind of disappointed about like is not kind of similar to the original Face. Um. And, and it's very hard to use that for, you know, animations or, uh, or try to replace the reactor face, uh, face swap. But then the SDXL is, is doing better. You see the comparison in here is, it's very similar to the original, uh, image. And I, I'm not turning up like 100% in the Laura's loader or the wages in the face ID loader in IP adapter, but uh, it is still very similar. Okay, let's try on male characters like me, the, the digital me. And uh, let's run in one time. Okay, I have not changed the text prompt and it turns out to be a woman of me. Okay, that it's kind of funny, but it looks funny and it's very cool. Okay, so STXL in this part for male's character, it doesn't perform that good. And uh, I think the winner for this one is um, the Face ID Plus V2. Yeah, the Plus V2 is a winner for this one. So maybe is is very depends on the scenario and what what kind of image you input in the source. Well, let's try other uh, sampling method. Yeah, maybe. Trying other sampling method is doing better. Okay, let's run again and see. Let's just focus on the SDXL in here and and let's see what, what happened with this image. Maybe the male's character doesn't perform good in SDXL yet. Um, let's do with the face swap. The reactor face swap compared with the SDXL uh, face ID here. So this is the this is going to be the female uh, characters that, that I'm going to use for compare with uh, reactor face swap. And this is the result from the face ID SDXL. And let's turn the steps to 25 and see it again. Okay. Kind of like that. It is like over 
yes, too too much in the LoRa loader. Uh, uh, maybe I have to lower down the LoRa loader for this one. And uh, one thing, what one more thing I want to test is uh, like like the face comparison with uh, with Asian or non-Asian. Is sometimes the result is looks different, and as you can see from this one, that the AI girl uh, that I used to play with, play around with the image, and generate in uh, face ID SDXL here, it kind of looks not the result as I expect, like with the reactor face wall is performed better. Let's run it again. Face ID in here, it is not performing like what it does in reactor. Let me create the reactor node and let's run side by side comparison in here. Okay, so the left one is the face ID SDXL, and um, we are going to wait for the reactor face swap. Okay, this looks better. Yeah, it is still like for for IP adapter face ID. This thing, um, like it, it is not really optimized for uh Asian. Face, I can see it. A um, like, like previously the first testing with the, with like a kind of like a Russian style model girl, uh, image that performs really good. But if if you try it with like an Asian male or like this one, the Asian girl, um, the face ID doesn't perform that good. Like the reactor uh face swap is well obviously we we always you like me I always use that for for the dance videos or any uh the AI animations I'm using the the reactor face swap but then for the face ID is kind of weird um when you see the result here I mean it it, it does not like um recognized too good for this kind of face maybe that that's what i'm guessing so yeah test it out guys if you have a better result let me know so yeah that is it for today's videos and um hope you guys get something from it and i will see you guys in the next video have a nice day